okay so last i can recall is what we discussed about a semantic network and a tree so uh, this uh, recording is uh, regarding the classical ai problem which is your traveling salesman problem so i am continuing that all that slides only your search one ppt but not uh, in a one go but part wise uh, topic wise okay so traveling salesman problem is again another classical problem of ai okay traveling uh, salesman is based on the name itself you could see a traveling salesman a salesman who is traveling to various cities in a country or whatever way you can say okay so the problem is that uh, for example if you can think of the, a particular let's take an example of a postman who is delivering the letters in different cities and what needs to be done is that this problem needs to be minimized okay so that we need to find out the solution that in a reasonable time and less cost the postman covers all the cities okay and in this case no city is being left out okay so now this traveling salesman problem we say as this is a np complete problem now uh, you would be asking that what is a np complete problem normally np complete uh, and np hard they are the two types of problems and np complete comes under the exponential time okay so exponential time means like 2 to the power n so your traveling salesman problem it is a problem which is a exponential problem and it is like 2 to the power n and there are np hard problems also which are your polynomial time problems so for example uh, linear search binary search insertion merge sort all these kind of problems that you have learned before they are np hard problems okay so moving further after this now let us see that how this traveling salesman problem works okay so now we say that a salesman must visit each of a given set of cities and then return at home so this is like if a salesman start from a particular location okay then for example it starts from uh, let's say patan lalitpur then it goes to what is your place uh, nac and then further so all of the cities or places must be visited okay and then it should return at home and the main goal of our problem in this case is to find the shortest route in order to minimize the travel expense okay so what do we mean by this we mean that our goal is that we should find the shortest route okay so that the travel expenses can be minimized now we are taking an example of a salesman and the salesman is visiting five cities a b c d and e okay so these are the five cities a b c d and e so name is not given so you can assume any one you want according to nepal according to india according to word it's up to you it's just for these these names are just for like it can be any a b c d any now this salesman live at city a and can fly to other cities okay so what are the five cities a b c d and e and from a that means the starting point of this is a that is mentioned okay and from that only it will fly to other cities okay so now let's see this example so if you could see a this is your a then this is the b then this is the c and d and e so these are the five cities mentioned 
and then you could see that there is the distance also given between two cities so distance means for example a city a and city b so they are like 900 kilometers or whatever is the unit they are this much distance apart same is for b and c c and e you could see c and e like very far then E and B 1700 then B and D it's 1100 and then you can see C and A also C and A is 600 and then E and A is 1000 so this is the way between every cities between every two cities the distance is being given to you okay and now what is the problem the problem is that the salesman it can select any possible routes okay for example the salesman can select a b c d e and then it comes to a or the another route can be a b c e d a because you can recall it has to come to a okay so these can be two routes that it can take now uh, you can also do it with the help of calculator you can check it with the help of calculator also okay so you do it later if you want you can just calculate all this like uh, 900 plus 800 and so on okay so this you can do it so if we do this all so when we travel a b c a b c d e a it comes out to be 4000 and then when it takes another route a b c e d a it is 4500 respectively okay so these are the two values the total cost that is coming and then uh, the question comes that uh, okay this we have done because uh, like for now we have mostly five cities okay and if we say that for five cities we have done it okay so because we have only shown the two routes to you but there would be possible 24 possible routes which can come out from this not only these particular two routes okay because the salesman can visit the five cities in any order okay so the possible op answer that you can see it is 24 so if i show you this okay so the answer is 24 because the salesman can visit all these five cities in any order and why did we say that it is 24 because normally the since the formula for this that comes is n minus 1 factorial so n minus 1 factorial means that finding out the factorial of this number so for example if we say n is equal to 10 then there comes this much roots and if you take 5 minus 1 so 5 minus 1 factorial is how much it is 4 factorial 4 factorial is how much 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 4 into 3 is 12 12 into 2 is again 24 okay so that's why the answer here you could see it says 24 but this is again for only 5 cities what happens if this is 10 so 10 minus 1 is again 9 factorial and 9 factorial means that there would be uh, this much amount of roots. So if you could see this number, which is a very huge number. And then what about if this n is 20? Because the problem will not be only for 4 or 5. Okay. And that is why we said that this problem will arise. Because it is a NP complete problem. So NP complete problem again exponential it grows exponentially okay so for example if I would say that N to the power 10 is small as compared to 2 to the power N 
okay so this one is your np complete problem so if you could see so this is the complete path so if i talk about path so this is the path so this is the complete one path so if you could see all others but the first two you would see that one path is this from a to a okay and the second one also from a to a so 4000 and 4500 we calculated but out of this again we'll take the one which is the lowest one that is 4001 okay so that is why we say that the desired route can be found in the exhaustive search when the algorithm explores all possible combinations but this method again cannot provide us the best number of solution when we have large number of cities okay so for large number of cities here i mean about when n is greater than 10 so i need to reduce this search space and for reducing the search space we'll talk about another algorithm which is your simulated annealing algorithm okay so that's all for this video in this video i talked about the traveling salesman problem because see you need to know every algorithm as i have already told you even if you don't apply but as you are learning this since from my with me from start we have gone through very every algorithm we have discussed in detail because those then you would be just applying those algorithms as a functions but uh, you should know about all those algorithms okay so uh, my next uh, video i will be posting about simulated annealing variance so simulating annealing variance is one uh, algorithm is one which you can apply in for your solution also okay to reduce the search space so hit the like button do subscribe to this channel and do post your comments your doubts everything just write it in the comment section hope uh, this would be beneficial to you i'm trying so that i can reach to you in this particular lockdown period so that um, somehow your studies are not being hampered and we continue uh, when our college reopens at least you must have done a certain portion of work so that you are not again stressed at that particular time you are doing well you have done well in the first assessment and but we need to keep the same pace for the second assessment too okay so thank you